Welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad. And today I want to begin with a concept that many of us have at least had in the course of our lives. Have you ever looked at God as just being critical and judgmental? You know, someone to be feared, and you know, we don't want to make the wrong, take the wrong steps, make the wrong steps, do the wrong things because God's going to be right there and He's going to be harsh, and you know, we we just don't want to deal with that. Well, is that the only thing that maybe gets God's attention? I mean, we do know that God sees everything that we're doing and that there is a certain level of accountability that we have to the Lord when we do things that are sinful. But does God look at only that? Or are there other things, again, that draw his eye, that draw his attention? Well, today I want to talk about that. And I want to read out of Psalms chapter 14, verse 2, where it says this. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. Now here's an interesting thing, and it's something I think we need to get used to, is that God is not looking at the earth and mankind to find those that are bad. Actually, God is searching humanity for those who are good. In other words, those who understand him and have chosen to pursue him. That's what he's really looking for. And did you know that he's looking for that and that makes him happy? That pleases God when he finds people who really do care about him. And so for us, I think really what that does is that should shift our perspective of not just constantly worrying about doing the wrong thing and messing up, we should be more focused on doing what is right before the Lord and really seeking after and pursuing Him. Because it's when we do that that we really get the kind of attention that we really want from the Lord, which is this good and healthy relationship. And so for you, if you're out there today and you're just living under this cloud of just being so worried that you're going to make God upset, maybe let that go. And understand that God's not looking for that. He's looking for the goodness in you, the things that you're doing as you pursue Him and a relationship with Him. And on that good word, let's close with prayer. We thank you, God, that you are not always looking for just, you know, who is doing wrong, that you're really looking for who is doing right. And help us, Lord, to live lives of righteousness, of understanding, of seeking after you and pursuing you in all righteousness, God. And Lord, help us to understand that that is what you're really looking for, and that's what makes you happy. So help us to live lives like that. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead, click the like and the share button. Do help, it does help us get the word out there, and we do appreciate that. Uh, go ahead and leave us a comment in the section comment section. Um, you know, today, maybe just even share, and I'd love to hear a story or two about how when you shifted from that mindset of God's judgment into a, a mindset of understanding that God is looking for you just to be good, and how maybe that changed your perspective and how you felt about God. Love to hear those stories. Until we see each other again, go ahead and just um, show somebody a little bit of kindness, love, and respect, even today. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.